Ford detailed its new Evos concept car during the IFA Consumer Electronics Show this week. Billed as a cloud-connected car, Ford envisions that the automobile will be able to make decisions based on driver preferences. Its job is to streamline tasks for drivers, whether that means changing the cabin temperature or picking your favorite music. It'll remember to close the garage door too, but that's only the beginning. As you start up and pull away, the vehicle sends a message to the cloud indicating that it's time to switch the house into energy efficient mode and close the garage door. And then you hear the car say, Your 8.30 meeting has been postponed until 9. Would you like to take the dynamic route to work? You say yes. The dynamic route has been calculated. Travel time, 25 minutes. You grin, thinking about the thrilling twists and turns that weave through the mountains on this more fun route to work. Now, until you reach the start of the dynamic route, your vehicle remains in comfort mode. But when the navigation system indicates that the dynamic route is just about a kilometre ahead, the Ford Evos reaches out to the cloud once again. Weather, traffic, roadmap data, historic driver skill level, and vehicle performance data are all crunched together, resulting in detailed information that allows the vehicle to refine braking, suspension, and steering settings in anticipation of the road ahead. That same data is also used to automatically adjust the vehicle's hybrid powertrain controls, providing the ideal mix of petrol and electric power to conquer the extreme elevation changes while still conserving energy. In past years, Ford has been seen more and more at consumer electronics shows as the automotive and technology industries converge. At CES earlier this year, it debuted a car outside of a major auto show for the first time, the Ford Focus Electric. Since the Ford Evos is a concept car, there are no immediate plans for commercialization, but it's likely only a matter of time before a cloud-connected car hits the road. At IFA 2011 in Berlin, Nick Barber, IDG News Service.